the forgotten village. In the depths of the countryside, nestled between rolling hills and dense forests, there lay a forgotten village. Its name lost to time, its existence erased from maps, it was a place shrouded in mystery and whispered tales of dread. Few dared to venture near, for those who did spoke of an unearthly presence that loomed over the abandoned homes and crumbling streets. Drawn by a morbid curiosity, I embarked on a journey to uncover the secrets of the forsaken village. As I approached, an oppressive atmosphere descended, thickening the air with an ominous weight. The once vibrant foliage surrounding the village had withered and twisted, as if recoiling from some unseen malevolence. Entering the village, I was greeted by an eerie silence broken only by the soft whisper of the wind through decaying structures. Houses stood empty, their windows shattered, their doors hanging off their hinges. It was as if the entire village had been frozen in time, trapped in a perpetual state of decay. I pressed on, my footsteps echoing through the desolate streets. The further I delved, the stronger the sense of unease became, a primal instinct warning me of impending danger. Shadows danced on the walls, twisting and contorting into grotesque shapes that seemed to watch my every move. It was then that I heard it, a faint, haunting melody, drifting on the wind. Its source eluded me, echoing from the dilapidated buildings, like a siren's call. Compelled by an inexplicable force, I followed the sound, each step heavier than the last as if the very ground beneath me resisted my advance. The melody led me to the village square, where a solitary figure stood amidst the ruins of an old fountain. Cloaked in darkness, its features obscured, the figure swayed to the rhythm of the haunting tune. I called out, my voice swallowed by the oppressive silence, but the figure remained unmoved, lost in its melancholic dance. As I drew closer, a sense of dread washed over me, an intangible presence that clawed at the edges of my consciousness. The figure turned, its eyes alight with an otherworldly glow that pierced the darkness. I recoiled, but it was too late, the creature's gaze locked onto mine, ensnaring me in its hypnotic stare. Time seemed to stand still as the creature approached, its movements fluid and unnatural. It reached out with gnarled hands, fingers elongated like twisted branches, beckoning me closer. Fear gripped me, but I was powerless to resist, drawn inexorably into the creature's grasp. With a whispered incantation, the creature unleashed a wave of darkness that enveloped me, swallowing me whole. In the void, I was consumed by visions of the village's tragic past, of lives lost, of souls trapped in a perpetual nightmare. When I awoke, the village was gone, vanished without a trace as if it had never existed. I stumbled through the wilderness, haunted by memories of the forgotten village and the otherworldly creature that dwelled within its ruins. To this day, the melody lingers in my mind, a haunting reminder of the horrors that lurk in the forgotten corners of the world. The village may have disappeared, but its legacy lives on, a testament to the darkness that lies beneath the surface of reality.